Hey there, welcome. This is a part of an informative video series presented to you by Wiz Labs. In this video, you will learn about Google Cloud Adoption Framework. What is Google Cloud Adoption Framework? For enterprises, moving to the cloud has numerous advantages. There are, however, dangers. The problem is multifaceted with far-reaching consequences not only for cloud-based solutions but also for the technologies that enable them, the people who must execute them and the processes that govern them. People, process and technology is a well-known rubric. But how do you use it to propel you forward? Google has been leading projects for years to address this challenge. From leadership and people management best practices like work to engineering driven software operations techniques like site reliability engineering to zero trust security models like Beyond Corp. A streamlined framework for cloud adoption was established as a result of work like this. Cloud computing is evolving at a rapid pace that can be difficult to stay up with. Indeed, it may appear as though a public cloud provider announces a new feature every week that will make your apps and data more scalable, reliable or secure. And figuring out where to begin is not always straightforward. You must have seen the kinds of things that might stymie organizations along the way, as well as patterns emerging around what makes other businesses successful. You must have recently noticed a shift in what the customers desire to accomplish with the cloud. Getting to the cloud has been a series of tactical, cost-cutting tactics aimed at making your cloud mess for less. Some of the customers have started asking far bolder, more strategic, even visionary questions in recent years, such as how to use machine learning to give better customer service, how to execute predictive inventory planning, how to enable dynamic pricing. However, getting to the point where your company can truly thrive in the cloud frequently necessitates a large-scale transition. That is a difficult thing to take. And if you are the one in charge of the transition, being able to convey your strategy in a straightforward, logical manner is crucial to inspiring trust in your vision. In the customer base, you can see two sorts of company cultures play out again and time again. Many of the cloud-native customers, for example, have a strong desire to act. They excel in several things, including workload self-sufficiency, highly collaborative teams, and continuous learning and experimentation, to mention a few. However, in the haste to go forward, some have overlooked the importance of erecting early guardrails to restrict the inevitable sprawl of data and computing resources. This oversight not only increases the expense of their monthly cloud hosting subscription, but also increases the risk of security and data privacy issues in the long run. They put short-term quickness over long-term sustainability in this case. Many businesses who are new to the cloud may find the contrary to be true. These businesses frequently lean toward recreating their tried and true governance and operating model in the cloud devoting a lot of time to designing processes and regulations, which are critical, but too little time to migrate actual workloads to the cloud. They do not gain the experience they need to manage increasingly sophisticated and business-critical use cases if they are not working on production workloads. And if they don't see immediate results, they may be hesitant to raise their investment, resulting in a loss of momentum in their cloud strategy. The objective is to strike a balance between the rate of change in your people, processes and technology. That way, you can continuously learn, effectively lead, scale efficiently and thoroughly secure your environment, which are the four qualities identified that drive cloud success. Learn the scope and quality of your learning programs for upskilling your technical workforce, as well as your capacity to supplement your IT staff with skilled partners. Who is participating? How widespread is this participation? How well coordinated is the effort? What is the effectiveness of the outcomes? Lead. The degree to which IT teams are cross-functional, collaborative and self-motivated, as well as if they are supported by a leadership mandate to move to the cloud. What is the structure of the teams? Is there any executive sponsorship in place? How are cloud-based projects funded, managed, and evaluated? Scale. 
how much you utilize cloud native services to cut down on operational costs and automate manual procedures and rules. What is the process for deploying cloud based services? How is workload capacity allocated? How do you handle program updates? Secure. With a multi layered identity centric security strategy, you can secure your services from illegal and improper access. The maturity of the other three topics is also important. What safeguards are in place? What technologies were employed? What are the overall strategies? Your present business practices in each of the four categories will define your preparation for cloud success. Those practices will fall into one of the following phases for each theme. Tactical. Individual responsibilities are in place, but there is no comprehensive plan that encompasses all of them and includes a strategy for future expansion. The focus is on lowering the cost of separate systems and ensuring a smooth transition to the cloud. The victories come quickly, but there's no room for growth. Strategic. Individual tasks are created and developed with future demands and growth in mind according to a larger vision. You have started to accept change and the people and processes, pieces of the puzzle are now in play. The benefit of leveraging the cloud for your company operations is increased by IT teams who are both efficient and effective. Transformational, you have shifted your attention to integrating the data and insights gained from working on the cloud now that everything is running well. Existing data is provided in a transparent manner. New information is gathered and examined. Machine learning was used to provide predictive and prescriptive analytics. Your people and processes are changing, which helps to support the technological advancements. IT is no longer viewed as a cost center, but rather as a business partner. You are decreasing expenses in the tactical phase with a rapid return on investment and little disturbance to your IT department. During the strategic phase, your IT organization's value is increased by simplifying activities to make them more efficient and effective. During the transformative phase, your IT department transforms into an innovation engine and a business partner. The cloud maturity scale is calculated by evaluating the four themes in terms of the three stages. In each of the themes, you can see what happens when you move from haphazardly adopting new technologies to strategically working with them across the organization. This naturally means more in-depth, comprehensive and consistent training for your employees, which leads to streamlined and updated processes, which leads to innovation. The entire corporation undergoes a transformation. A cloud-first organization is one that has completely invested in the cloud and fully exploited its advantages. You may use the cloud maturity scale to figure out where you are on your cloud journey. You construct a plan to go to where you want to go in the epics. The maturity scale and epics may, of course, be used with any cloud provider. The framework is technology neutral. However, if you want to be certain of your success, you should choose Google Cloud as your guide. The adoption framework makes it easier for you to make the transition to the cloud. A technical account manager, TAM, can help you along the way from your first cloud project to becoming a completely cloud-first business by working inside the framework. Tactical cloud adoption can help you meet a short-term business goal of lowering costs in your existing IT solutions such as by maximizing unused computing and storage capabilities or minimizing the operational expense and time associated with manually purchasing and deploying resources. As a company with tactical cloud goals, you want to complete projects with the least amount of disruption to your IT teams, your apps and software tools and your business model. This is a crucial step in maximizing the cloud's potential and it should not be overlooked. The value of a tactical level of cloud maturity is determined by the results of your total cost of ownership TCO study. If you expect just minor cost savings from this method, you may see cloud adoption as a lateral move and be inclined to go right to the strategic phase. If your company does not already have personal experience executing production use cases in the cloud, proceed with caution. Moving to the cloud has a cost. 
but the insights learned via testing are extremely valuable. The tactical phase establishes the groundwork for the strategic phase's activities. A strategic level of cloud maturity is adequate to accomplish your IT organization's mid-term business goal of increasing value delivered. This level is attained by significantly increasing the efficacy and efficiency with which IT teams build and manage software solutions, as well as updating those solutions' structures to take advantage of cloud-native services and platforms. As a company with strategic cloud goals, you will almost certainly make changes to your IT personnel, your apps and software tools, and your business model. This change can be restricted to a single area of your IT company and still be effective, giving a blueprint and early success stories that can be expanded once your IT organization is ready for total transformative change. To achieve the long-term business goal of converting your IT into a sustainable engine of innovation that drives your business transformation, you will need a transformative level of cloud maturity. IT has evolved from a cost center to a business partner. The data and insights gained from the transparent and intelligent exchange of current data, the acquisition and analysis of new data, and the application of predictive and prescriptive analytics are the primary contributions of an innovation center to the company. This data-driven strategy should also be used to your IT department, iterating on new features in a genuinely agile manner to increase the speed with which you can deliver innovation. You confront the potential of completely rebuilding your IT group as an organization with transformative cloud goals. In concrete terms, this entails encouraging more lateral awareness and information sharing, as well as empowering individual contributors or project teams to make more independent decisions, as assessed against agreed-upon service-level objectives. You adopt a cloud-first approach, with cloud-based services and best practices becoming the new standard. To that end, you encourage innovation and individual initiative, even if it fails, and you know how to fairly price the value of what you have learned against the cost of your cloud hosting service. Hope you've understood the concept of Google Cloud Adoption Framework. With this, we conclude this topic. Thank you for watching this video.